Hello and welcome to a TNS Tech Support video. Today we're going to be talking about calibrating the tractor for a roll cow. So by a roll cow, I mean centralising the tractor to make sure it returns on its own AB in the correct place. So we're doing this before we're doing any offsets on the tractor. Uh, sorry, on the implement. So by that means, we, if we're going to put an implement on the back, we need to put an offset in. We need to make sure the tractor can follow its own line before we try and make the implement follow its own line. So what we're doing here, we're getting Matt in the workshop. He's now going to put an AB into the tractor. So you will need to do this in the field, or the your yard. But what you do, will need is an accurate correction signal. So he's put an AB in. He'll engage on the AB. He will then come back to make sure it's accurate. The mat is now on the AB line. So it's engaged on the guidance now. So what I'm going to do, he's now going to give me a thumbs up and say when it's... Uh... Yeah, so he's giving me the nod. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to take my tape measure and measure off this wheel one metre. And there we are, we've got our metre here. We've, we've marked it out with a the top link ball on this occasion but anything you can do you can put a stake in the ground and now Matt will now drive down here down the AB so what he's now going to do he's going to go down there turn round and come back towards me and I'm going to line him up in the same spot on the tyre with the ball again so what we've done here we've lined it up exactly to where we were before and now we're looking at the measurement and on this occasion, so with an accurate signal, the tractor is actually 103. So I'd expect that to be a meter, and obviously I'd want it to be a meter to make sure we've got the right offset in. Um, so what we now have to do is go into the tractor and alter the figures to compensate for that. So here we are in the screen, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit satellite, satellite again, followed by satellite with a spanner, picture of the balance scales and then you can see our mounting offset so we've already got one in here so what we're going to do we're going to zero that as a rule reset before we start this procedure and then what we're going to do we're going to press this tab on the side we're going to read the instructions tick the box the vehicle was driving too far to the left or too far to the right well on this occasion we were too far to the right. So we take the box and we're going to put a figure in there of three. And you will see that the mountain offset is now 1.5. That's because it's obviously it's halved it but up the AB and back down it. So that's job done. But what we do need to do is double check so what we will do now do is put another AB in and do and recheck what we've just done so here we are again with the tape measure and the ball and we've put a new AB in we've redone what we've done before with a line up and down and you can now see that this has now come back exactly on a meter now sometimes you won't get a meet exactly a meter um, because obviously your correction signals differ a little bit um, so just have to compensate for that a bit. So if it's 101 or 102, um, just do another recheck. If it's consistently coming the same, you know you need to do something about it. If it's varying a little bit within two centimeters, then you've probably got it as close as possible. And I can't emphasize enough how this is the most important thing to do before you try setting up an implement.